sharp stars and old magic. To be a foster carer is to be a sunny supporting wall when facing your children and a grieving mother when you are alone in your car. A song that was on heavy rotation 15 years ago suddenly comes on Heart FM. The hot pain which you almost never take out of its box and inspect is suddenly leaking down your face. She sang along in the mirror in her bedroom that summer, her little feet stepping almost in time with the music so sincerely as she gleefully yelled the words into a hairbrush microphone. You watched her from the bottom of the stairs, in awe of how someone who had weathered so much sadness could set such a fine example of what living really looked like. You've thought about it almost every time you've found yourself on a dance floor since. Weddings, music festivals, children's parties. Every time your feet hit the floor and your awkward, tired body starts to move, searching for the beat of the music, you think of her dancing in the mirror. It is 238 miles from Doncaster to Glasgow, but you would have driven to the end of the earth. To say that the letter came out of the blue is an understatement. You have thought of her every day for 15 years, but have had almost no word of her since the last time you dropped her at the school door. Once, you saw her in Asda. It must have been 10 years ago now. Adolescence had elongated her, but there was no mistaking the way that she met the world. Shoulders wide, chest open, refusing to show fear. Your heart almost leapt out of your body. My baby, my baby, my baby, my baby. It went, she is your baby, but you are just a woman who she was unceremoniously made to live with during a very difficult time in her life. It is not appropriate to approach teenagers in supermarkets and tell them that you love them. You watched her walk away. To drive north in October, is to cross paths with autumn as it makes its way south. The leaves are yellowing themselves as you drive. By Penrith, they are burning orange as the low sun streams through them, saying its last goodbyes to the day. By, by South Lanarkshire, it is dark, but you imagine there is already a rich brown carpet of fallen leaves spread across the ground. The dark is the kind that you can only ever remember from this time of year. After the clocks change, but before solstice, a cold, crisp dark shot through with sharp stars and old magic. Your heart is a tired sailor. In your memory, she was lost to you at sea. But in reality, she is a person who needs you to be a professional. Answer questions and fill in gaps. Your feelings were not for sharing then, and they're not for sharing now. You are a conduit to a past. You must be non-partisan. She perched on your knee on the living room floor, leaning a whole back against your side, unsure of another new social worker who had come to give her news about her own life. I have some great news, said the lady, gently as possible. You can go home next week. Your not daughter turned and searched your face for any cue of what to say next. Too many decisions had already made for her. She was not willing to share her feelings with any more strangers. That's so great, you said, nodding and smiling widely, your heart shredding itself into confetti again. Such brilliant news. It was brilliant news. You weren't lying. Home was the best place for her. Your job was done. But the heart has not read the textbooks. It has never really understood its place in all of this. The body and the mind wished her happiness and joy and told her she was brave and smart and hilarious. The body and the mind made a memory book and said it had been a pleasure to have her to stay. The body and the mind packed her things and wrote the records and dropped her at the school door and fumbled an awkward and uncharted goodbye, smiling the whole time. But the heart lost another child at sea. It scratched another mark on the wall and folded the pain in on itself. 
it never recovered. 6.30 p.m. at Road Chef Ham Hamilton Services near Motherwell. You are almost there, but you do not want to arrive at her door hungry and thirsty and needing the loo. You want to be unflappable, a warm wall. The doughnut is dry and stale and the spilled sugar makes little needles into your elbows as you rest them on the table. The tea is weak and almost grey in colour, but it's blessedly hot and there is plenty of it. You breathe. She had chosen the football summer school and there was one session left before it was time for her to go. Routine is important, as much normality as possible for them in a time which is anything but normal. She was perched on the end of a plastic garden chair at the side of the pitch, and as he laced up her boots, she chattered non-stop about the toys and the friends and the neighbours and the ice cream man that she'd missed from home, the sheep, her family, the dog. Then she patted you absent-mindedly on, on her she patted you absent-mindedly on the head as he tied the last bow and said cheerfully, I'm going to miss you so much, before plopping herself off the chair and running away from you to join the session. Deniston is dirty and sturdy. Red brick and long streets, main roads with bright light takeaways and friendly looking late bars. Does she sit there with her friends? eating chips from cardboard trays and talking things through. Your hope has always been for them all to be carefree whenever possible, for their chest to be light and their breath easy. The sat-nav steers you off the main drag and into a side road. The tall tenements look daunting, but you are assured that they are cosy and warm these days, desirable even. You park up and the sweet cold air calms your car hot cheeks as you search for the right building number. The stairwell is cold and dim, but the wall tiles are a beautiful green and orange, lacquered to a high shine and smooth under your fingertips as you make your way up three steep flights. Fifteen years is a small bump in the road. Your heart beats my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby, as it flaps and flutters and tries to fight its way out of your chest. But you have reread the textbooks. Your hands grip the box file of memories that you are going to open only if she asks. You are just a small piece of her puzzle. You knock on the door. <laughs>